Okay, hi, it's me, Sarah. Um, and I thought for my second video, I would do a little exploration of all of my sort of to-go, quote unquote, um, stim toys. Um, I'll probably do another video at some point about the ones I keep on my desk, which are bigger things like um, shakeable glitter bottles and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just gonna do the bags I take to like school and um, outings with me. I've a couple of them and some of them stay here but this is still like the general it's what I draw from let's go with that uh, so first we have this little bag um, it says La Petite Echo on it I don't know where this is from because uh, it was one of my old roommates and she just left it in our dorm room when we were all supposed to move out uh, so I just sort of adopted it uh, so first we have this guy He's a little kush ball, um, flamingo. Um, flamingo is hard plastic, but the ring is like stretchy. Um, it's just kind of fun if you need something to like fiddle with with your hands. This was a present for my mom. Um, she loves flamingos. She got it for me in Vegas last year. Um, squishy panda charm. It's a little dirty because I've had it for a while. Um, I kind of need to get a new one but I just love this thing. <laughs> um, I got this one from Stimtastic, which is pretty much where all of my Stim toys are from, unless I specify otherwise. Uh, got a Boinks fidget. I, I love these things. I think I have like five or six. Um, and I also, I don't know where it is right now, but I have a big bag of them that I bought at the dollar store, <laughs> which is really exciting. Um, bead ring fidget it's got like little almost like lacquer lines on the beads I can't get it to focus sorry um, but it's really good for like putting beads in your hands um, yeah uh, this is a spinner ring from Stimtastic uh, I don't know if it'll focus but it's got the squids on it I love um, Ocean creatures, they're one of my, uh, one of my special interests, so it's always nice when I can get something that has, like, fish or something like that on it. Um, and then I have a couple of these little, uh, Japanese dessert erasers. I have, I think these are pancakes, I have a little piece of cake, and I have a, um, like a popsicle, a creamsicle, and these are all... They like come apart into little bits. So that's fun. Um, I have a handful of these like popper things. Uh, I don't use them very much though. They don't work very well for me. Um, I bought them because a lot of people say they help with skin picking and I pick at my hangnails, but um, they just don't do much. And then this is another thing I need to replace, but um, I can't find a replacement right now. It's a, oh, it's broken, as you can see. <laughs> um, it's one of those little popping edamame keychains. So, it doesn't have faces anymore, and it is, as you can see, one of the peas is broken. Um, but so that's all of my like little things. Um, and then we'll do this. Uh, and all of my other bags I keep my stim toys in are actually makeup bags from Ipsy. Um, I've had a pers uh, subscription to them for, I think, almost two years now. Um, so this is my like everyday stuff that I always have in my bag. Um, so the first thing is also a little comfort object of mine. It's um, a really soft Sakura Hello Kitty Tsum Tsum that my best friend Emily brought me back from Japan uh, last summer. Um, it's really soft and it's got beans in it. Uh, she's a little dirty because I carry her everywhere um, it's a really nice thing to just sort of like rub my hands over if I'm having a bad day um, and I have this little uh, tofu my melody plushie that I bought it also has beans in it um, I don't remember exactly where I got it it was like a Japanese candy store online um, but it's really cute and really squishy and it's pretty much all beans um, just a little bit of filling at the top but um, it's really soft. And then this thing, um, I don't remember what it's called. 
Um, but it's from Stimtastic and it's just like little plastic link tracks. Um, and I like to just sort of mess with it. Um, this is one of my favorites. Here we have a big boinks fidget. Um, what I like to do with this one is basically use it as a Chinese finger trap, but I put it as far down my fingers as I can and kind of like use it to pressure stim, basically. Um, the only problem with these, um, I use them in class a lot because they're silent, but um, if you let go of them, they can kind of just like fly across the room, which is at times unfortunate. Um, and I have this, uh, which is from um, Casey's old Etsy shop, uh, which is now Store Envy. Um, I don't know, it originally had like a dangly sparkly charm on it, but I lost it and so now it's just like a fun little like plastic tube bracelet with beads in it. Um, I'll link uh, his shop, their shop. Crap, I should have looked that up. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry Casey. Um, I have a Clix fidget, which I love this thing. Um, I, it sounds like cracking your knuckles. <laughs> um, and also it kind of like, I have the urge to like break things sometimes and I can kind of like crush this in my hands and it feels like I'm breaking something, um, even though that's totally not what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and this is more like just an example of something I always have on me than explicitly a stim toy, but I always have at least a couple of band-aids. This is a uh, Disney princess, specifically Jasmine, I think, band-aid. Um, and then I always have at least one silicone chew necklace in my like day-to-day -day bag and uh, this is my blossom that i blossom pendant that i actually replaced because it's got a rip in it but um, i love this one i have another one in my bag that's just chewables uh, and then last this is just uh, another comfort item uh, it's really smooth i like to look at it i like to feel it but it's mostly just there it's a little really broken doesn't really function as a mirror anymore um compact that my mom gave me uh, that was hers when she was a teenager so so that's my like every day. Um, that's like what I always have on me. That's like when I throw in my bag when I'm in a hurry. Uh, next we'll go to, this is other stuff I usually have on me, um, but it didn't fit in the other bag because two of the things are kind of big. Um, so one of them is this squishy. It's not slow rising, it's more just like a stress ball, um, but it's a little Hello Kitty cake. I got this at um, Kinokunaya in a, San Francisco, Japan town with my best friend over the summer. No, over winter break, never mind. Um, but it's <laughs> it's adorable and it's really fun to squish and it doesn't smell horribly like plastic, which is a bonus. Sometimes they do. Uh, this is a little weighted sand friend. Um, again, I love sea creatures, so I had to get the, um, the stingray. This is from Stimtastic. Um, it's fun to squish and also just like hold it's very smooth, which is nice. Uh, yeah. And then the last two things in this bag are, um, I sort of kind of um, very low key practice witchcraft. So I have some um, angelite, I think that's what this is. It's been a while in um, a pendulum necklace, which I just kind of like to like fiddle with too. And then um, an opalite worry stone and yes I know opalite is just like treated glass but it's pretty um I love opals they're my favorite gemstone and also it's just like it's really really smooth and really good for fussing with basically um and so now I'm on to my last two bags which is my other sort of day-to-day -day bag um and then my bag of just chewables and this also has change in it um <laughs> it just does and it has a bag in the bag, which is a Ziploc, because these things are all kind of sticky um, and I don't want them to get gross. So I have two of these things, uh, if I can get them out of here. There we go. And they're kind of, there's they're these like stretchy ropes. They're kind of like, um, you know those sticky hands you would get out of like quarter machines as a kid? Uh, they're kind of like that, only they're thicker and they're not that sticky but like they definitely pick up like dirt and like hair and stuff. Um, but they're really fun to like squish. Uh, they stick to each other more than they stick to other things. But one of the reasons I really like these is I like to wind things around my fingers and they're really good for that. So I'll just like sit there in class 
with these wrapped around my knuckles and just kind of like flex my fists um, and it feels really nice. Um, I don't know why uh, I like that so much, but it's one of my favorite ways to stim is by wrapping a like, string and things around the base of my fingers. Um, it's also why I'm usually wearing a lot of rings, but um, I took a shower today and I take them off when I shower so I don't snag them in my hair. And then last is two of these like sticky flower stress balls. This one is from Stimtastic. Um, and this one is from just like one of those like weird like toy game calendar stores in the mall Which is also where these are from um, But you can find them pretty easily just like online or I'm sure if you went to any like party city or You know dollar toy store sort of situation I'm sure you could find them. They don't seem like they'd be that hard to find. I think they were like a dollar um, And they come in a two-pack and um, so next we're on to my bag of Chewies, and this is one of my favorite Ipsy bags I've ever gotten. It was like a special collaboration for Halloween. And it's got this cute little hard-eyed ghost zipper tag. Um, it's really cute. Um, so yeah, this has, oh, we're a little bit tangled. So this is just a replacement for my blossom pendant because my other one uh, had a rip in it. I, I chew pretty hardcore. I have sharp incisors. Um, but this and the other thin one I have, which is the dulcimer, um, are both sort of, they're cheap enough that I can replace them every few months without like a huge financial strain. And um, yeah, uh, I also like them because they, they're pretty like low key. The dulcimer a little less so, but the, the blossom pendant really kind of just looks like a necklace. <laughs> um, and then I, this is my first, chewy necklace. It's also from Stimtastic and I love this one because I love the squishy beads. Um, they're really good for like just kind of like gnawing on. Um, but yeah and the star is really soft and I've had this for over a year um, and there's almost no tooth wear on it which is kind of amazing. Um, yeah and then I have two of these because of an ordering mishap when I first bought them. But so I have two of the pink no gloom shrooms. Um, again, stimtastic. All of my chewable necklaces are stimtastic, um, which I like the top is textured and I chew on my hangnails, like I said. And so this kind of is like chewing on the side of my thumb. Um, these are really like heavy duty. If you are like a really hardcore chewer, like you'll be set. <laughs> you would be hard pressed to chew through this. Um, and then my last chew toy other than um, another dulcimer, one that I partially chewed through, is I have the Oreo pendant or cookie swirl pendant, whatever it's called, um, in black and white. And I like this one because of the like texture grip at the edge and also because I can kind of like put my teeth between, I don't know how you can see that, like the edge of the cookie and the like swirl part. There's like a lip. Um, and because I like to like specifically gnaw at things like my fingernails, um, that's always kind of a nice, uh, like anything that feels like I'm chewing at something instead of just like on something. Oh, that's a really, really odd way to differentiate those things. Uh, but yeah. So those are all of my, like, I have most of these bags um, in my school bag um, on any given basis, any given day. Um, none of them are really that heavy other than the one that has the stingray in it because it is full of sand. Um, but I have a pretty big bag because I'm a, I'm a college student, so I, I have the room. Uh, so yeah, those are my stim toys. I'll try and link um, where I got most of them uh, if I can uh, in the description box down below. Uh, yeah, um, have a good day. Uh, yeah.